Hey, punk. You better not mute the volume, you got that? Get the wax out of your ears and listen to me, damn it! Damn it! Hey, Joyce! Uh, Falk. Hey. My beast got by me, I think. Guess I just wasn't thinking. And they say I'm the smart one. <laughs> you moron! Why the hell didn't you run? I would have if it had been just me out here. But a leader's gotta. Look out for his... squad. <laughs> Stay put! I'll fix you up! No. It's too late for me. Now. You shut up! Say that again and I'll... What the hell is that? Get out of here, Falk. That thing's too powerful. You're saying this is the one? <clears throat> Get on! <laughs> Are the strongest. 
strongest. Say you're officially the Ghost Squadron's biggest badass. Falk, listen. What is it you want to be? We may be ghosts here and now, but nothing lasts forever. Ghosts are banished when daylight comes, and then they're born anew. I think it's almost morning right now. Yeah, that's right. Our dawn's coming. So let's greet it together. Yeah. Look, Valk. The morning's lights. Almost. Hey, Joyce? Hey! Hey, Joyce! Remember, Joyce. Our hands are empty. But that just means we can grab hold of anything. Hey, you're the one who said that. So please... Just hold on. When will I stop having that damn dream? Time to head to the mess hall and get some grub. Whew! I am stuffed. You ought to hurry and get today's recommendation. What's that? Steak Supreme! Slathered in two different sauces. Mm, mm, yum! Steak Supreme. That was Joyce's favorite. He'd order it every day at the diner we used to go to. <laughs> what? What's with all these annoying memories today? There's a meeting going on. Come back later. Here you are. What is it? Can't you see I'm about to have lunch? We thought you might want to hear about our new assignment. Sweet! Tell me about it. I like your passion, but didn't you just say you were about to eat? I'd skip a meal for a chance at a promotion any day. I can actually respect that. Captain, would you care to do the honors? You bet I would. So, here's the scoop on our next mission. Ugh, this is already taking too long. Tell me on the way! Huh? So basically, all we gotta do is take out this bandit gang. Originally, they were a group of mercenaries hired by the army. But then the jerk started pillaging in the middle of a mission. Bunch of third rates. They're giving real mercs a bad name. Leave it to me, a former merc with a rep. I'll straighten them out. My thoughts exactly. It's your chance to shine. All right. I know who to talk to first. Oh, who? The outcast living on the streets. When it comes to underworld intel, there's no better source. High garden well enough. You just have to stay away from the rougher parts of town. 
There are some places that even most locals avoid. The worst is Sundown Alley, off the main road to the left. And the road to the right is where our homeless folks live. find a lot of places to eat around here. Just try not to wander into the back streets. <laughs> Only an idiot would wander into those streets. Right. They've got a nasty reputation for a reason. So, getting back to this bunch of thieving ex-mercs. These losers got a name for themselves or what? Oh gosh, what was it? It sounded really scary. The what? What's wrong? That's gotta be a mistake. The Ghost Squadron died out a long time ago. That's definitely the name they're going by, though. Maybe they're under the impression that ghosts can't die. Come on. Don't make me laugh. Claude? streets are just ahead. Pretty rough scene. It's kind of scary. But don't worry, you two. You're safe with me. If any baddies show up, Captain Amelie will protect you. Ha! We'll be the ones protecting you. Y you will not! Come on. Let's get going. R right. Let's try to stay out of trouble. now looks like we got some fancy looking visitors you kids know what part of town you're in trust me fella you don't know what you're starting hold on Claude, don't i don't think we'll be able to reason with this guy i'm afraid force is our only option now you two agree ah <laughs> look who's talking sense now you guys just watch. I'll knock him out with one hit. You'll do what, rotten punk? You won't be able to walk away when I'm done. <laughs> Why do the biggest losers always brag the loudest? You know, Falk, you tend to brag quite loudly yourself. Say that again! Hey, no funny! Dog. Have you perhaps forgotten that I'm even here? I can't stand this now. Try this time. You've really done it now. I'm pretty sure I counted more than one hit just now. Yeah, well, we still won. to take the bait and get into a fight sorry but once you're challenged you can't back down that's how it is and besides even Hugo was raring to go back there uh, I wouldn't exactly say I was raring uh, I knew it was you all along Belk it's been so long Oh, hey! So you're still here. This a friend of yours? Just some kid, that's all. We used to know each other when these were my stomping grounds. Hello, all! Nice to meet you! 
I'm Salim. I work as a peddler in all the neighboring towns. By yourself? Impressive. Thanks, but the impressive one is definitely Falk. He has a deep and surprising respect for you. Never could get rid of him. I wonder, are you here for info on the new Ghost Squadron? You know something? Well, yeah, but... Take me with you and I'll tell you. How about that? Say what now? Trying to bargain with me, are you? That's some nerve you got. Oh, come on, Belk. We haven't hung out in forever. I won't slow you down, I promise. Please, can I join you? Cut it out and get lost. Let's go, you two. Oh, come on. Wait up, Belk. Hmm. Maybe we should bring him along. What? The captain raises an excellent point. Since we have so few leads, we'll want to split up and investigate. That means we'll need all the help we can get. Salim's familiar with this area, and he clearly has guts. You have to, to start your own business. And he's got info, it sounds like. So, the captain and I will search for leads on our own. And Team Member Falk, you are to investigate as well. With the help of Provisional Team Member Salim! That's an order from your commanding officer, okay? Woohoo! Thanks for including me! Okay, let's head for Sundown Alley first. Uh, hey, who put you in charge? Well, if there's a chance he has useful info, I guess I'd better play along with him for now. You remember where Sundown Alley is, right? Yeah, it's up ahead and to the left. Exactly! There's an information broker there who may know something. Wait a second. I thought you had info. I did. I had info on who we could go to to get info. Damn it! So, were you able to resolve that commotion yesterday? Huh? Oh, you're a new transfer, so you wouldn't know. Listen, we ignore any reports that come in from Sundown Alley. We get them all the time, but what are we supposed to do? Go out there and get mobbed by a bunch of hooligans? We could get ourselves killed if we're not careful. To think that the capital harbors such lawlessness, I'll steer clear. Dad's a smart guy. <laughs> you kiddos know where you are. Did you get lost? Or are you looking for a challenge? Anyone who feels like challenging me is welcome. I'll make them eat dirt. You're a tough guy, aren't you? Well, when you get crushed, try to do it where I can see. I could use a good show while I enjoy my drink. Scum. I heard I could find an information broker near here. Sorry. Don't know anyone like that. Please! I need to know where he is! I have money! Well, in that case, I might be able to help you. And then I can help myself to a belly full of the good stuff tonight. <laughs> how much will it cost me? Everything you have on you. So how much you got? Wait! Please, no! Whoa there, you kiddies lost? Gotta say, you two look a little out of place here. 
Oh, yeah. Huh? We're looking for Duhan. I hear that he likes to hang out at the bar up ahead. Don't know who you're talking about. Now you two brats get lost. Wait, are you sure? Because, based on what I heard... If you don't know the guy, then get out of our way. We'll track him down ourselves. Huh? First, you'll have to get through all of us! Well, we definitely need to find this guy. So if that's how it is, then let's do this! Let me guess, this Duhan is the broker you mentioned? Yeah! He finds people jobs, fences stolen goods, stuff like that! I heard he could be found at a bar near here called Geist. But these guys said they didn't know him. And you're just gonna take their word for it? Well, I bet they're working with him. They're probably his bodyguards or something. This situation sure is messed up, Belk. I mean, this other ghost squadron is... Don't call him that. That's our name. And believe me, they're gonna be sorry they tried to steal it. When I kill them all. Falk! You're the coolest! You've really done it now! Looking down on me? Hell yeah! Screw you! Little punk! How's that? Screw you! Hell yeah! Be as tough as you someday. Someday? Try a millennium. Wait, so you think I could catch up eventually? There's a chance? In your dreams. I can't believe I'm getting to see you in action again, Falk. This is the best day of my life. It makes me think back to when we were living on the streets. Every single day was a fight for survival. Hey, remember the code we made up in case we got caught? Why would I remember some dumb code from forever ago? <laughs> Why you always play it cool? Only makes you seem cooler. Screw <laughs> <Throw> you! <laughs> Little punk, get lost! How's that? <laughs> All right. It's no wonder you became a soldier. You really are the toughest around. <laughs> you think so, huh? Well, now that I think of it, that nice lady said she's your captain, didn't she? So she'd have to be even stronger than... No, she isn't. I'm the toughest around, like you said. Oh, really? Then why does she outrank you? That's just the way things turned out, okay? Now shut the hell up about her, or else... Okay, I will, I promise. Screw you! Hell yeah! Warming the place like bugs. That's Sundown Alley for you. It's exactly like I remember it. Unwitting fools robbed of their goods and their gall. No help in sight, no matter how hard they cry. Except these streets are frozen in time. Belk, if you need any help, I can... You're a peddler. What are you thinking, trying to fight? I'm just trying to be of use to you, Belk. And it's not like I'm in danger of getting hurt with you around. Then why don't you stay out of the way and let me do what I do? Damn it won't you. take long. Just sit back and watch. Wow, you're as tough as I remember. Not a bad show you just put on. Now for a final test. To determine whether you're man enough for this reward. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. This place seems to get more and more hostile as we go. That's a sign that we're getting closer. I'm gonna cut a swath right through them. If things get too hot, you just run for it. Oh, 
Falk. Does that mean you're actually worried about my safety? Falk cares about me? Oh, I'm getting choked up. Nobody pay attention. I don't show this to everyone. Watch as you go flying. Come on. That's the best you got. You're quite capable, Falk the Tyrant. You've heard of Falk? How? So you run these streets? Duhan, right? You got it. You're here for info on the Ghost Squadron, eh? Well, that's what they go by, but you and I know better. Still, even if their identity's fake, <laughs> their money sure is real. I sold them a decent pile of goodies not long ago. And tell me, do you make a habit of doing business with frauds? Hey, blame yourself. You were the one who threw that name away. I did not! Sorry, my mistake. Tell you what, to thank you for putting my men through their paces, I'll tell you where to find these frauds of yours. said we'd find the baddies here yeah the guy made deal in dirty money but we can trust his info at least good thing you had Salim with you eh all he knew was where to find the guy and what would you have done without that information <laughs> Salim looked really sad to be left behind maybe we should have brought him with us and let him slow us down these guys aren't just bandits they're former mercs. Oh, I get it. You wanted to keep him safe. You're such a sweetie, Claude. That ain't it. Shall we get going? Now, time to bust some fake ghosts. Uh, who are you? Can't you tell? Where the guy's attacking you? Pretty dumb move coming in through the front gate. Ha! You think I'd bother sneaking in through the back? Yeah. Just to avoid a bunch of weaklings like you? Oh, and do you really have to provoke them? All right, you little punk. <laughs> yeah? Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just what I'd expect from a bunch of phonies. Those guys were pretty tough for bandits. You have to be to make it as mercenaries. Nah, I knew these guys wouldn't live up to our name. Oh? You've been acting unusual since you heard that. And I assume the original Ghost Squadron was... A two-man merc squad, formed three years ago. But the leader died. And that was that. There's only one of us left now. One survivor. Oh, Claude. Yeah? Uh, uh, you! Bring it on! Looking down on me? Come on, let's go higher. Good call. The evil boss is always on the highest floor, right?
captain and I were able to obtain some information as well. The current leader of the Ghost Squadron is a woman. So Joyce hasn't risen from the dead. That's comforting to know, at least. Was Joyce your leader's name, Claude? Why'd I open my big mouth? He's dead. Forget about him. But you haven't forgotten about him. What was that? Just talking to myself! Break through it and continue on. I'd prefer to avoid unnecessary combat. Let's look for another path. Take a look over there. There's a walkway above us. It connects these two buildings. Huh, really? Then let's get over there. We'll jump for it. We will not! If we were to fall from way up here, we'd go like splat on the ground and then we'd all be dead! And you're clumsy enough to do just that. Falk. Oh, all right, fine. I'll make you a path then. I hope you're grateful. There. There. That was the neatest. Wow, Claude, your weapons are so handy. I think you meant to compliment my skill with them. Oh my gosh. So scary! You could be a stain on the street right now, so be grateful. I'm already scared enough, okay? This building looks to have the same layout as the other. Meaning we'll find stairs up ahead? Coming? No, that's unlikely. Which would mean they set all this up as a precaution. Who cares when they set them up? Hey, does anyone else think this looks like a workshop? Do you think they're building their own weapons here? Maybe they're making counterfeit gold! They'll be rich! Yeah, yeah. What are you, a kid? Oh, I'm not a kid! And don't talk to your big sis like that! Can we focus on the battle? Look at that on me! Don't mess with me! Your tricks won't work on me! This is too damn good! I agree. 
I'd say the fourth floor is likely to be the top. How are you two able to tell all that? I estimated this building's height from the outside. It's amazing! You're like a detective. It's called thinking. You should try it sometime. To this place. Send your leader out. Intruders! I wondered who was making all that noise. I don't want to waste my time with you. <laughs> Yo, leader! Are you hiding or what? Get your ass out here! Ooh. Ooh. Having the name of his old Merc group stolen that seems to have been deeply upsetting for him. Have a taste of my power! I'll take you! Yeah! Look at down no matter how many times, don't lose your nerve! Right back at you. Keep up your guard. Damn it! Oh yeah! For real, though, these guys are nothing like regular bandits. It's clear that they've undergone some kind of training. The fake Ghost Squadron has nothing better to do than steal. I wonder what your so-called leader has to say for herself. Where is she, anyway? There's been no sign of her. Maybe she's not here? <laughs> Still no boss. Guess this isn't the place. Damn it. I feel like that info broker tricked us somehow. Let's not jump to any conclusions. There's still a few places we haven't checked. Oh, you mean outside? But she's clinging to a wall. Let's leave this idiot here and go back to the other building. We can't use the connecting passage. Falk, if you'd be so kind. I won't be kind at all, but sure. Here you go! There! Now we can cross. What? You're so talented! I take it you're with the Imperial Army. We didn't expect you to sniff us out here. Hey, are you the leader? What's wrong with you? Their leader is a woman, you forget? So where is she? This isn't our main base, of course. I'm sure you realize that now. He's ignoring your questions. Whatever. It doesn't matter. He's dying whether he talks or not!
I'm impressed you made it this far. But you're no match for the Ghost Squadron. You worthless bastards don't get to use that name! Ah, then you must be... Falk. And what if I am? You're a bit of a legend. A living legend, contrary to rumor. And yet, you've been reduced to an Imperial lapdog. How sad. <laughs> What's sad is pretending to be a ghost. How about... I make you one for real? Just as strong as I'd heard. Tell us about your main base. And I'll make this quick. And end your suffering. <laughs> and just what will you do about your friend's suffering? What did you say? We had another visitor before the lot of you barged in. Some little brat of a peddler running around shouting the name Falk. Wait, you mean... What did you do with him? Not that it matters now, but our leader took him back to our base. Falk the Tyrant failed to protect his friend. How sad. Bastard! That idiot! Why'd he go off on his own? Perhaps we can save him. There may be time. How can we do that? We have no idea where he is! Hey, look. I wonder what these could be. Their main base is in this cave up ahead. Come on! Wait a second! When did you figure that out? The symbols you found in that building were from a code. One we used back when I was on the streets. So it was a message. Left for you by Selene. Yeah. That idiot. I never asked him to go near that base. I swear, I'm gonna find him alive so I can kill him myself! Yeah, yeah. Oh, little punk! Yeah, get lost! Get lost! Damn it! Yeah? Not yet! Like that! Impressive about being an idiot. He's not strong enough to try something like that. He looks up to you, Falk. He wants your approval. I'm sure he was only trying to help. Who asked him? It makes me sick just thinking about it. When weaklings like him try to act tough, little they just get themselves killed. What? Looking down on me at lost! Let's not be reckless. Try this on for 
exercise. And next time, get the hell out of our way. Hey, wanna hear something cool? Fighting those beasts gave me a good idea for a recipe. Only you would think about food during a fight. What kind of recipe is it? You'll have to wait till we get back to find out. You're gonna love it, though. Yeah. Hey, Claude, is all this making you think about Joyce's death? Is that what you're so angry about? It's not it. And if you know what's good for you, you'll leave it alone. It's a captain's job to worry about her squad mates. If she wants to help the squad, she should look out for herself. Because when the captain dies, it all goes to hell. Uh, okay. I'll back off. I think that's his way of saying he cares about you. I know. Uh, not yet! So, Claude, after you left the orphanage, you were living on the streets? Yep. Back then, I talked with my fists and lived as I pleased. Even as a kid, I was stronger than anyone. Wow! And that's when you met Selim? Yeah. He was just a regular boy who lost his parents. Life on the streets was more than he could handle. Every time he scored some food or galled, the other kids would rob him. That's awful. Watching it happen day in, day out just got too annoying. So this one time, I let him tag along with me on a job. From that point on, there was no getting rid of him. Uh-huh. Just didn't want to be haunted by the sight of his corpse, okay? Uh-huh. Shut up! supposed to be they got guards posted here too I guess the fake ghost squadron is a bigger deal than I realized how dare you who are you punks that reaction pretty much confirms our suspicions so this is their main base then perfect good job Salim I I have no idea what you're don't even try it you got one of ours in there and we're coming to get him Well defended as the main base should be. Well defended, my ass. These chumps are nothing. Let's take them down and get inside already. There's no end. Don't Fine by me. I'll stamp them all out. Close. Little punk? Why bother having guards if they're gonna be this weak? You know what I've been wondering? Why are bad guys always building their bases in caves? Aren't they afraid of beasts? If you're afraid of beasts, you got no business being a bandit. And besides that, the best hideouts are in places that most people avoid. 
It could also be that having their base in a den of powerful beasts serves as something of a badge of honor for them. Oh, good point. That's just dumb. Speaking of beasts, look what we got here. It's over. I sure hope Salim's okay. Getting dragged to an awful place like this. What if they've already killed him? He's got a bit of luck. Not like yours, but maybe enough to protect him. If he is dead, then I'll kill him again just to spite him. Falk. Bandits dropped it. This is. Whoa! There's an Imperial Travel and Trade license in here. And look, it's got Salim's name on it. What's that? So it got dropped, or he left it for us as a clue. In any case, this tells us we're on the right path. Quite helpful. Nice, Amelie. Your dumb luck comes through again. I think you meant to compliment my brilliant powers of observation. First she found the coded message, then Salim's license. Our captain is really lucky. I'm telling you, I'm observant! If you're so observant, go become a detective. Then I can take over as captain. No way! Yeah. 
Go swarming around. What's the military doing here? Came for the kid, I suppose. Tell me where he is. <laughs> Boss has probably snuffed him out by now. In other words, he didn't actually see it happen. We might still have time. Let's hurry. No way. You guys are gonna die just like your little friend. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Right back at you. Keep up your guard. It's encouraging to know Selim may still be alive. Not for long if we don't hurry! Yeah. This does feel more like a main base than our last stop did. Atmosphere is more imposing, plus there's more enemies. And on top of that, the place is crawling with beasties! Tie this on for size. I ain't gonna let you. Well, that's how you fight. Is it just me, or is there something weird about the beasts around here? They seem kind of worked up for some reason. It could be due to the cave itself. There's a high concentration of mana here. I don't like that. Don't mess with me! Comment. Close one. Exactly. Which means, by the time this fight's over, it may be too late. <sighs> Alright then. But listen, don't you two die on me! 
Same to you. Damn it, Salim. Putting me through all this trouble. You haven't changed at all. Well, that's not really true. I mean, you did go and start your own business. Plus, you snuck into a bandit hideout solo. You're still an idiot, though. Little punk! Nice and sneaky, could have used you. But if I can't talk you into joining us, I guess that's that. <laughs> Stop right there! Huh? Falk, you came! Oh? Well, well. The famous Falk, yes? You've been quite busy, turned our city hideout upside down. Check out some trash, that's all. Haha. <laughs> Clever. You know, ghosts like you ought to stay buried in the past. Wanna put me in the dirt? Go on and try then! Don't be afraid of this man. We're the ghost squadron now. The past is of no importance to us. But since it will come to our doorstep, let's put it to rest for good! Well said, Commander Karim! First you steal our name. Then you mock us by hiding behind your men? You make me sick! Try this on for size! Screw you! Hell yeah! Looking down on me? Little punk, don't mess with me. Look it down on me. Look it down on me. Look it down on me. Hey, Claude. Sorry, we're late. More toy soldiers to play with? Hello, the Ghost Squadron. You pillagers! Your bandit days are at an end! Ugh, what a pain. Your orders? Nothing to do now but kill them all. I mean, no point trying to pay them off. Got that right. We're gonna purify this cave by killing every fake ghost in it. That's your goal, is it? Then allow me to respond in kind! You got nowhere to run! Give yourself up! Not you. you know, I had this bandit leader pegged for a coward. The way she hung back and let everyone else cover for her. But it turns out she's pretty tough. I agree. And her true identity is evident from her combat training. What do you mean? Oh, you figured me out? <laughs> then I suppose it's time to drop the axe. <laughs> it's a stigmata knight's duty to give their all in battle. Bring it on! <laughs> How do you like this? Time to show you just what you're up against. <laughs> 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 uh, Federation knights pretending to be a bandit to get the drop on us? Have you any idea how it helped me lower myself to this? Amazing! I had no idea how satisfying it would be. Taking one of them instead of having it handed to you. You know what the best thing is about being a ghost? Free! No titles, no obligations! You've got serious 
issues, but that ain't my problem. You crossed the line when you took the Ghost Walker's name. For that, I'm gonna kill you! Yes, I can't wait to see what you can do. Screw you! Damn good! Little punk! Yeah? Having fun? Back on my I need this now! This is how it ends. It was fun while it. Lasted. <laughs> you could try not to look so happy. You really okay going out like this? I'm feeling quite satisfied. I don't even need a grave. I don't get it. You're a noble, right? Seems like a pretty charmed life to me. Prestige, status, and duty. All of it decided for me. No freedom. I'm glad I get to die. On my terms. No attachments. A nameless ghost. Yeah. This is the life. So why'd you give it up? I'm nothing like you. You see, I want to have it all someday. And ghosts don't get to have anything. I can't even live in the light. <laughs> Having it all isn't worth seeing. That's for me to decide, not you. Go to hell. Not worth a thing, she says. Tch. How dare she? Sounds like she had struggles of her own. <laughs> yeah, well, she's dead now. Thank you, Falk! Oh, hey, Salim. Man, how stupid can you be? You're in for it now, you moron! <sighs> I'm sorry, Falk. I just... Wanted to be of use to you. No. The truth is, I wanted to impress you. I wanted you to be proud. But I wasn't strong enough. I'm really, really sorry, Falk. Come on, Claude. I guess it's fine. But just be more careful from now on. It doesn't matter how brave you are, if you end up dead. Right! <laughs> Looks like our mission is complete. Shall we go? Yeah. 
It must be morning by now. And this time, hopefully, the light really will banish all ghosts. Next time, on Tales of Luminaria, Episode Falc, Even If We Are Alone. You got a death wish. I'm happy to grant it.